Mingala Bakmya, I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. Senior government official Ong Tong has been flown to Singapore for emergency medical treatment. The 74-year-old former junta figure suffered a stroke on Wednesday night and was rushed to a Naypyidaw hospital. Ong Thong has a reputation as a hardliner within the ruling Union Solidarity and Development Party. Last year, the United States Treasury added the former junta's Minister for Industry to its blacklist, barring him from business with American firms. On Thursday, senior party officials visited Ong Thong at his hospital bedside. Burma's president has pledged to ensure that the upcoming election is clean, free and fair. Speaking in his monthly radio address, the junta general turned reformist politician said his civilian government has a responsibility and must try its best to conduct fair polls. On Wednesday, Burma's Union Electoral Commission declared that the election will take place on the 8th of November. On the streets of Burma's largest city, voters say they remain skeptical. <laughs> Witness testimony has been heard on day two of the case of two Burmese men accused of rape and murder on the island of Koh Tao. On Thursday, prosecution witnesses described the discovery of the bodies of British tourists David Miller and Hannah Witheridge. Thai police claim DNA they gathered and tested in a police laboratory links both men to Miss Witheridge's body. The defence team has appealed to have crucial DNA evidence re-examined. On Thursday, police said key samples could not be reviewed after being destroyed by initial tests. Remaining in Thailand, the country's military government has urged for an end to a strike by the country's fishermen an action that has left thousands of Burmese migrants without work. In recent months, Thailand cracked down on unregistered fishing vessels in a bid to reduce the use of forced labour, which is rife in the industry. The country is the world's third largest seafood exporter, but was given six months by the European Union in April to crack down on illegal fishing or face a trade ban. Over 100,000 Burmese migrants are thought to work in the industry, many without work permits. You can find more on all of today's stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.